John, for more on infrastructure, the multi-trillion dollar reconciliation bill, and yes, the fight over the debt limit. I want to bring in Repo Republican Senator Mike Braun. He voted against the bipartisan infrastructure deal that passed the Senate. Good morning to you. Uh, help us uh, understand where you think, think things really are, and is there any deal to be had in, from your vantage point? So I've been here a little less than three years, and when you say help us understand, I want to give you a little context. This has occurred over a long period of time, and I call Democrats political entrepreneurs, and I think it's on full display, maybe without the benefit of even having a finance 101 or a macroeconomics class. But I want to be clear, this has evolved over a long period of time, and I call that the unholy alliance. Democrats roll over to Republicans when we want everything for defense. I think it's the most important thing we do, but I don't hold it sacrosanct. We do the same thing for domestic spending, and that's compressed into now only one-third of our budget. So I get here, $18 trillion in debt. Now we're 28, and most of that has been an equal opportunity endeavor. So I'm interested in reform beyond the kind of parlor games we're playing here. The American public is, I think, sick and tired of it. And yes, they got way ahead of their skis on this one. When you try to dump the $2 trillion we did recently with the rescue plan for COVID, 10% of it COVID-related, and now you're going for broke with another $4 trillion, that is juggling in one year a time and a half what we generally spend and borrow 23% of every year. To give your viewers just a context, that's how poorly run the federal government it is, and I'll close with this out of the gate. There are hardly any people here that have ever run anything, not even a lemonade stand, and it's the biggest business in the world, and what you're seeing is representative of how this has evolved over two or three decades to get to where we are. Senator, do you, do you anticipate the Democrats are going to come together? I mean, you would, I, I, I imagine you do support the smaller infrastructure package, yes? Or but completely not? It, no, I, I understand that, but that's no, in the context I, of, I believe, well, you tell me, was that in the context of, of both of them together, or is that really in the context of you, you don't even like the smaller one? That's the thing about them. I think Pelosi runs a show, and she said they're definitely linked at the hip. But when you're juggling so many things at such high altitude, that has now been decoupled. So she's into a political fix that if they don't get the infrastructure bill, the $1.2 trillion, right. which I like some of the policy in there, I voted against it because it was done on a shaky foundation of pay-fors and no process. Only a handful of us vote against stuff we like because of that. That's another thing that starts occurring. She'll get something done and nothing will come to the floor until she's guaranteed to get the votes because there's enough egg on their face in total with kind of the haphazard way this thing has transpired over the last two, three weeks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.